Kamloops Community Football is celebrating its first BC championship. The Adam Broncos won the nine-man provincial title on the weekend with a 30-6 win over the Prince George Stashers. This team of seven to nine-year-olds is the future of high school football in Kamloops. Some traditional high school programs are going through tough times and didn't field teams this season. Community football has a plan that it hopes will revive and rebuild those programs. This is where Kamloops is trying to start the rebuild from the ground up at the community football level. And it's these kids who are going to be the next local high school stars and maybe beyond. It starts at this level. We've only got 22 kids that started playing on this team at the start of the year. And I would like to see 100 kids at this age group because it has to be a reverse pyramid. You have to build it from the bottom of the pyramid and build up. If you start with 100 kids, you hope to maintain 75 of them as they go through you, your system. And when we're trying to feed three or four different high schools with football players, it gets pretty tough. The number of local players has declined every year, and it's not for a lack of money and equipment in Kamloops community football. Interest in the game simply isn't there. And the struggles of the community level are hurting the local high schools many of which don't have enough players to support a team. It's why South Cam had to shut down its senior boys program this year, leaving Westside and Valley View as the only two high school senior teams. It's a sport that takes a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, and sometimes kids don't want to put that type of uh, commitment in. I think on the other hand, as coaches, we have to kind of assess the situation with the kids in the community and, and, the, and the students that are coming up um, at a young age um, and trying to figure out how we can make football um, go, 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 go. Um, appealing to them. For Kamloops Community Football Coach and President Dave Arthurs, coaches have to make the game more fun for the kids coming through the system. And that means developing quarterbacks that can throw the ball and dynamic athletes that can make big plays to generate that excitement for the next generation. It's changing the football philosophy, I think, because you have to develop athletes. This, this game starts with quarterbacks. You have to have a strong athlete and you have to have kids that know how to play that position and be leaders. And then you have to have running backs and receivers because if, if we're just going to play run the ball up the middle and, and run the ball 99% of the time in a football game, who wants to come out for that? What, what kid gets excited about that? The society is in the midst of a 10-year rebuilding plan to turn the program around. Some of the fruits of their labor are starting to show up in the local high schools, but still far away from getting back to that football domination of the 80s and 90s. In all honesty, if everybody can come together and, and kind of work on the same page, that we can get back to those levels within the next five to eight years would, would be my hope. Um, and by the time these Adam kids get to high school age, I would hope to have a couple of really dominant teams in the community. Arthur's wants community football to become a feeder system, turning out star players at every level, from high school to the junior ranks with the Kamloops Broncos. Jack Lassen, CFJC Sports.